Hello, my beautiful people. Where do I begin? If I make it out, then we all win. If we take him best, then I'm all in. If we got one shot, you who I'm calling. We ain't under pressure, we ain't falling. So, if you've watched my last episode, which is very brief, you know that I moved back to Connecticut recently. Now, that being said, I vowed when I left Connecticut that I would never see 50 degrees again. I'm so cold. I'm gonna warm you up. I'm so cold. And I've almost kept that vow. It was 51 degrees last <laughs> night. So I figured, um, I got a lot of questions as to like, why did you move? What went wrong? Blah, 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 all these questions. So I figured today we could do a quick get ready with me. I haven't done a lot of, um, I haven't done very much self care in the past seven months. So I figured um, I did a mask while I was in the bathroom and believe it or not, this is so much better than it was a couple weeks ago. So um, let's, let's get ready. Let's just chat. We'll have a quick chat. I won't make it too long. Um, and then you guys can kind of get a quick synopsis on what is going on in my life. Put this puppy on. I haven't had this on. So. All right, here we go. So as most of you know, seven months ago, I moved to beautiful Puerto Rico, where um, I have a couple of houses that are being renovated and just it's such a beautiful, just blessed place to be. That being said, it is always nice, in my opinion, to change up your environment and just to have a refresh of energy. This way, you are always in gratitude for what you have. You are never taking anything for granted. That's more like it. That being said, it was never meant to be a permanent forever type of thing. Um, we are always meant to come back and forth every six months. So nothing happened. Nothing terrible happened. It's just, it was time for us to come back. So that is what we did. We're back here in Connecticut and it's cold, man. It's cold. With every situation, there is a uh, positives and negatives. I am so looking forward to experiencing all of the picking that we have here up north, like the um, strawberries and the blueberries and the God, whatever else we're able to catch while we hear raspberries. I'm excited for the growing season. Um, I don't know what they have available in Puerto Rico, but I know that by the beach, I have a really hard time growing anything just because of all the salt water in the air. So yeah. I'm also super excited to spend time in my home. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I miss the space. Like this is been home for 13 years. So it's nice to come and, and be in the energy of this house and my space here. I mean, my apothecary is here. I won't give it to you right now just because it's a little bit messy. Um, the whole house seems to be messy. Like I was sure I left this house much cleaner than it is. I don't know what happened. I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, but yeah, being in this space definitely um, brings me back to a time where I did a lot of self-care, a lot of internal work. And um, yeah, I was able to focus on, on me a little bit. And I know that sounds a little bit selfish, but we cannot pour from an empty cup, right? So yeah, that's where we're at. I definitely appreciate the North for everything that it provides. The nice, cool, crisp air, that quality of crisp air is just something that's not in the South. Um, and also, we left just in time for hurricane season, which I'm not really, that's like a lot of things I want to experience in life. Hurricane season isn't necessarily one of them. So, yeah. <laughs> We, um, 
we'll be back before it ends, but hopefully it'll be a, a calm season. And yeah, that's all I really have for you guys. For sure, looking forward to embracing the North and all the North has to provide camping. Um, what's it called? Fair season. Um, just the different things that, that, you know, different places have different things to provide. So excited to bring all of you along with me on those journeys and those adventures. Let's get this done, okay? So here's the final look. I haven't also straightened my hair in forever. I did it earlier, so that's why it might not look the freshest, but yes. Thank you for hanging out with me. And next week I'll have like a legitimate video for you guys. I promise. Until then.